Predicting the longevity and vibrancy of Ohio's fall color isn't an exact science, but why the leaves change every year is. There's a lot of science that goes into why trees change color and drop their leaves every year. Part of it is that the tree needs to protect itself from freezing over the winter months. What we see during the summer months is that bright green color, and that's called chlorophyll. And that's present in the leaves, and it helps produce the sugars that feed the tree. Well, as the days get shorter and cooler, the chlorophyll starts to break down and excess sugar builds up in those leaves. And then you start to see something we call carotenoids, which are the yellows and golds, which is particularly present in things like sycamore, yellow poplar, and beech trees. If we're really lucky and we have a bright, sunny September and October, we'll start to see some of those reds and purples come out, and that's something called anthocyanin. And that's actually a chemical breakdown between the chlorophyll and the excess sugars and sunlight that we're experiencing. Over the course of the fall color season, as the leaves start to get more color in them, there's actually an excess sugar buildup in those leaves. And the circulatory system between the leaf and the branch starts to slow down, and we get something called an obsession layer. And that's where the leaf and the branch actually meet. As that clogs up, we get extra sugar build up in that leaf. And then when we get wind and rainstorms, the extra weight from the extra sugar in the leaf will cause that leaf to break off of the tree and fall to the ground. This is a great time of year to do your fall leaf collections because you don't have to hurt the tree that way. Now that you know a little more about the science of fall color and how it's a little bit unpredictable, make sure you get out and enjoy it with your friends and family whenever you can.